So this is the Blue Sea Systems zero center ammeter and you can see it's on zero and so when it's in a discharge it'll go left or when it's a charge um, it'll go uh, right and this is kind of handy because sometimes you're both charging and discharging at the same time and you don't know if you're you know at a net gain or a net loss but with this it, everything will average out and if you're you know if you're going negative two amps it's just going to move a little bit to the left or if you're if you're charging it's going to go to the right and then this is the voltmeter, so it's uh, it's hooked up right now. I'm gonna disconnect it to mount it permanently, but I'm at like I don't know, it looks like 12.8. I'm not holding it exactly straight. It looks like 12.8 volts, which is which is full, which is good because I haven't been using anything and I haven't been here. So if it wasn't full, I'd be in trouble. And then you can buy um, single plates. These things just go over the meter. They they don't sell these doubles anymore. I bought it on eBay, and it I don't think it was meant for these. I had to kind of rig this up, um, kind of sketchy with these washers to hold it in. But you, you can still buy this the single plate covers, and I'm gonna just I just got this so it'd be kind of a clean install, it'd look good. Yeah, so you can see it work. Um, I'm just going to turn on my water pump and, and you can kind of watch the needle move. So that's like around uh, like 4 amps or so. I'm going to run that too long because I don't have any water in there. <laughs> Kill my pump. So this is the shunt. It goes in line with the positive or the negative line going to your battery. I'm using a zero center ammeter so I need to put it someplace that it's going to capture the flow of current when it goes in or when it goes out of the battery so basically I've got it right on the hot line the or the positive line um, that connects from my battery to um, everything else inside my camper whether it's the converter um, whether it's where I hook up my solar panel um, or the, the load centers. Um, this is the this is the line that goes to my shutoff switch and then right to my battery. So that's the switch. Um, battery's back there, and then this is the shunt. And um, the, what the shunt does is it is in line, um, in series, and it uses this little bar here measures the resistance uh, or the change in current. Um, from one side to the other as current flows through it. And the way that it does that is it has these sense wires. Um, so there's one here. I oh, know that's not yet. Um, this one back here goes to this terminal. That's the um, negative. And then this right here is the positive. And those go to the ammeter um, and basically use that. Uh, changing current to push the needle in one way or the other uh, either a state of charge or a state of discharge and then this back here you can tell because of the ground wires going to it but that's my um, that's my negative bus bar uh, basically so this is a this wire here is a sense voltage sense for the voltmeter um, and then the other voltage sense for the voltmeters right here on the sh on the shunt. That's the positive and that's the negative. And those basically tell what the voltage is, is for the battery, uh, which is nice because you it's a good approximation of your battery's state of charge. You can just get a chart and say you're at 12.7, you're you know pretty much full um, for flooded less lead acid battery. So this is the this panel above my battery. Uh, compartment like this is the battery compartment right here and a lot, all the wires come through right there there's like some caulking and and so these are these four are the are the sense wires that I snake through and two of them two of them are for the shunt um, and the ammeter and two of them are for the voltmeter and I'm, I'm just gonna I don't want to cut into fiberglass um, that kind of scares me but there's this kind of crappy piece of MDF here that is pretty ugly and I could just replace that really easily if I needed to with 
wood or something. So I'm gonna drill through and I'm gonna mount this thing right here. Um, I think that'll look pretty cool. The This has um, internal lights that you can wire up, but I'm not gonna do those. I'm not gonna do those because I got this light right here. Um, so you'll be able to see pretty easily if I just turn that on. Um, but those, those, they do have internal lights here that you, you just wire them to these wires here and in there. And it's kind of nice because you can do 24 volts or 12 volts. So um, if I wanted to do the lights, I could wire those up. And overall, this Blue Sea stuff is pretty nice. Like it's for the boating industry, um, which I kind of like um, versus something specifically for the RV industry. I, I kind of view the RV industry as like a price driven race to the bottom where they basically just put out the cheapest stuff they can. But for people that are boating, they kind of depend on this stuff and more of a, like a <laughs> life or death situation. So I, I, when I can, I get, I get my low voltage stuff from, from the marine industry. These holes aren't going to show, but I'm going to use a Forstner bit to drill through just so it looks clean. Um, these are nice. They don't they don't give tear out unless you really push through on the back side. But I once I'm part way through, I go to the other side and drill from there so I don't get any tear out on either side. just go around to the other side and do enough to to like break the top coat of this uh, laminated MDF just so that if you don't do that like when you push through it'll it'll rip out chunks of the back yeah see so it's nice and clean when you kind of do like the first like millimeter on the other side Dusty. It doesn't doesn't matter how straight those lines are because it's gonna cover that, so you don't have to worry about that. I need to remember which sense wires go to the ammeter and the shunt, so I'm gonna take those off first and just put this little washer around them so I can remember which are which. It looks like the black actually does go to the negative and the, the reason that matters on a zero center shunt because it's kind of weird because everything's on a positive or a negative line depending on where you put your shunt but one one wire is considered the negative and one is the positive and I couldn't really tell by the instructions and so when I hooked it up one of my sense my sense wires were backwards so when I was charging it would show a discharge and when I was discharging it would show a charge so I just took them off and switched them around and got it right. Just gonna pre-drill these
hook up the bolts. And we should see the needle move. It's the positive. There's the negative. Yep, okay. It still works, I didn't break it. And we got the positive sense wire for the shunt on now. The negative. I'm gonna go plug in my car and start it. And we're gonna see if it'll go positive and then I'm gonna turn a bunch of stuff on. So these LED lights are on, but you can't really, it's not really, it's only like adding up to under an amp. So I'm gonna run a bunch of stuff and see, see if I can get it to go up and down while it's charging. Okay, I'm gonna go and plug in my car, the bottom meter, which is the ammeter, should go to around plus six or eight amps. Cool. Yeah, it's like, looks like it's about plus six. Yeah. Electricity is neat. Um, let's turn on some stuff. <clears throat> let's turn the fridge onto DC. Yeah. Let's, there it goes. Okay, so even though we're charging with the fridge cycling on DC, we're at like negative three or four amps. And on the pump, we're almost negative eight. Um, for the fan. Yeah, I put the fantastic fan all the way up. Yeah, so I'm like charging with my car alternator but I'm still using more power than I'm gaining. So that's why this thing is handy to have because I don't think I would have really known that. Um, so this ammeter combined with the voltmeter is really gonna help me prolong the life of my battery. Yeah, I made a bit of a mess here. I'm gonna come back and clean this up. So this, this looks pretty crappy with all these wires out and this thing just like this. Like, so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna leave that like that. I gotta come back and I gotta put some one amp fuses on the um, positive uh, red wires. And then I'm gonna mount this this little like NEMA enclosure. I'm gonna just like mount it over it like that. So that it at least kind of looks somewhat better than it does. And there's like, this is a really small RV and there's not a lot of real estate to like mount the, something that big. Um, like it wouldn't even really fit it. Maybe if I put them side by side, I could get them to fit over here or something. But I, like I said, I, I don't want to cut into fiberglass. Like it's totally undoable. Whereas like this chintzy panel, um, you know, I could easily replace that with something better, like some hardwood or something, some walnut or something cool, or, or just even some whitewashed pine or something like that. So I thought that was a good place to put it. But yeah, thanks for watching. That's uh, installing a voltmeter and an ammeter uh, analog. Yeah, I went with I went with analog style. I just I like old school looking stuff and the kind of like the nautical like throwback look of that. I thought was really cool, especially with this like older um, cover that I got on eBay. Uh, like they don't make a sing they don't make a double anymore. They you could have just got two singles, but I I wanted one combined, and luckily I was able to find one. So yep, and accessorizing the casita. Thanks for watching.